So you want to know all about Santa, eh? Best place to start is at the very beginning, when Santa was just a little baby. You mean Santa was once <laughs> a baby? Of course. Everybody's got to be a baby at least once in their lives. Now, this was years and years ago, oh, way back. In one of the northern countries, there was a small city called Somnita. It was a cold, cold place which shivered in the shadows of the strange mountain of the Whispering Winds. Now, the main reason for all this gloom was the mayor, a mean old grouch of a fellow who was known as Burgermeister Meisterberger. <laughs> Herr Burgermeister, Herr Burgermeister, look what was discovered on your front stoop. What? What, Grinsley? The milk? The daily paper? No, sir. A baby. Oh, is that all? A, a baby? And there's a note. Please, sir, take care of my child and protect him from the dangers of the mountain of the whispering winds. He will be exceptional if only given the love he needs. I, Burgermeister, Meister Burger, take care of a baby? Outrageous! What's its name? This is the only clue, sir. It says, Claws. Oh, take the little uh, baggage to the orphan asylum. That's the proper place for foundlings anyway. Get the brat out of here! Well, you're the boss. Oh, the sleigh! It broke away! Oh, my goodness! Where are you, baby claws? Oh, oh do come back! Come back! Well, that strange wind blew the little sleigh right up to the mountain of the whispering winds. <laughs> well, you see, that mountain was the home of the awful, the terrible. Oh, I hate to even say his name. That mountain was the home of the winter warlock, the strange hermit of the north who lived alone in a ghostly palace of ice, practicing his strange spells and snowy incantations. The animals knew they had to hide that baby, and fast. They knew where that baby belonged, so, quick as they could, they started on their way. Where, where? Well, you see, just beyond the mountain was Rainbow River Valley, and there, by a bend in the magical stream, was the home of a jolly family of little people. Elves, you might call them. Kringle was their name. The door was answered by an elf named Dingle. Dingle Kringle, to be precise. Yes? Who's there? There's who? Ooh! Wiggle my ears and tickle my toes. Methinks I see a baby's nose. It's more than a nose. There's a whole baby attached to it. Better call my brothers. Wingle? Bingo? Jingo? Zingo? What is it, Bingo? It's a baby, Zingo. A baby what, Wingo? A baby, baby, Kingo. I like babies, Bingo. Our baby's the best baby of them all, Wingo. They brought the little fella to the elf queen, Tanta Kringle. A baby? What a splendid idea. He shall live with us and sleep with us and drink warm cocoa with us. What will we call him, Tante Kringle? His license says Claws. Unusual name. However, we shall call him Chris. Chris Kringle. Yeah! 